Welcome back to the morning show. It's always a fun time when Matt Sellen joins us. And today we're looking at why matter matters. Mm -hmm. And we've been warned that stuff is about to blow up, so we have to keep that okay, in mind. Okay, that's right. Just a bit. Mm -hmm. Just Okay, so we just blew things up a bit. The, so in the last time, let's review. The difference between liquids and gases is the way that the atoms are arranged. So if okay. you shrunk yourself so you were small enough that an atom looked like the size of a basketball, if you were looking at a liquid, all the basketballs would be touching. They'd be in like a, a big bag or something. Mm -hmm. And if it was a gas, the basketballs would be spaced pretty far apart and would be okay. bouncing around inside the room. So the gas takes up a lot more space for the same number of atoms. So what we can do <clears throat> is we can take some of this liquid nitrogen, which is a liquid, but which boils very easily at room temperature because it is so cold, and I'm going to pour it into this little cannon. Okay? Just a little bit, a few tablespoons. Then I'm going to take a cork, and I'm going to whack the cork in here, and now you hear that hissing is the gas escaping, but I'm going to close that so the gas can't escape. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and then we can shoot the cork like that. And it, it goes pretty far. And actually, wow, you can yeah, have a lot of fun aiming it at people, and, you know, but very carefully, of course. Very you should never try this at home. Cork. It wouldn't be. Okay. I never, never yeah. tried right. at home. And one of my favorite demos to illustrate this even better is, is, uh, oh is we take a bottle. And we're gonna a basic plastic bottle. Yep, we're going to pour some liquid nitrogen. Move with you here. Uh, yeah, you want to maybe stand over there a little bit. Here. What I'm going to do is I have here a garbage can with a lid on it just for sort of safety. The lid has holes in it. The lid has holes in it to let the expanding gases escape. I'm going to pour just a little bit of liquid nitrogen in this bottle here. But now I'm going to screw this lid on really tight. And so there's no place for this stuff to escape. Okay, now... We're probably just going to move over here a little bit. <laughs> it usually takes about 15 seconds or something like that. And oh! <laughs> okay. <laughs> now I got your studio a little wet. Is that okay? I, I think it's okay. Uh, it's all that boils away like everything else. Yeah, I kind of like that. <laughs> wow, well, Here you can that. see what happened to the bottle. So the bottle kind of blew wide open like that. Wow. wow. So I, I want to put in a, a plug for what we're going to do in the next couple of weeks. Okay. Now, next week, we won't be here because you guys will be at the farm show. That's right, the okay. farm progress mm -hmm. show. Now, the week after that, I want to talk about electrical conduction because you can talk about that in the context of hot and cold, too. So I want to ask this following question. What happens to electrical conductors as you cool them down and make them really cold? So that's for two weeks. Okay. And I want to put in a little pitch for something we do in the fall in the physics department. It's called the Saturday Physics Honor Series. And what we do is every other Saturday we have a, a talk in the physics building about a, uh, a science topic at the kind of high school level. And there's one starting this Saturday, and it's about climate and weather and okay. climate change and stuff like that. And we have one every couple of weeks. So you should check that out. It's very fun. Okay, right. and you can, you can check that out by going to our website and clicking on, go to WCIA.com, go to the morning show icon, and there's a link there to Wise Guy. So you can contact... Matt's selling the wise guy through that site, and you can also ask any questions. And of course, the winner again was last time was Jake Derrick. Derrick from Mount Zion. And actually, I had a great question from Schuyler Switzer, who asked what happens when you pour liquid nitrogen on concrete. And I was going to try to do that today, but I couldn't find a hunk of concrete. So if he wants a t-shirt, he should email me back. Okay. All right. Stay with us.